it's hard to top the bathrooms are coming. What a great thing. I thought he made it I up. thought he made it up, too. And, like, it was this thing in our family. I was working at The Letterman Show as a comedy writer. I started finding these mysterious corporate records. Musicals, but about tractors or silicone products. I didn't know anything about musical theater, but I was pretty sure it wasn't supposed to be this. My bathroom is a private kind of place. The dishwasher and the dishwasher. Everybody was doing these things. Giant companies, tiny companies. If the patient gets bloody I found some sort of treasure trove that we weren't supposed to know about at all. It's the way everything's coming up to go. I had no hobbies. I barely had any friends outside the show. Hello. Well, hi, Steve. Hello, Sheldon. Welcome to Casa Mia. But I knew I've got to have as much of this as I can find. Oh, my God. These are people who have changed American culture. It was a dream job. And there were a lot of them. It was almost like having a door open to a secret society. The general public had no knowledge of what was going on unless you were at one of these sales meetings. This stuff is bizarre and hilarious. Those are only the beginning layers. I hope everyone becomes interested in it. Yeah. Then I can sell the ones I don't care about for lots of money capitalist pig. <laughs> well, I learned that by listening to these records. I really got motivated <laughs> to, to sell, sell, sell. I think it has an unexpected importance that I would never have noticed when I was holding up the records on the show. It illuminates an American business world that doesn't exist at all anymore. There's something about a show. If it's not being heard, then it's really gone. I feel a kinship with so many of these people. It's gone further than I've imagined. Life can be so rich and wonderful when we step off the logical path and embark on eccentric adventures. It'll change.